and that should help finish off the white room setup. We've got a nice additional modifier light set up on a retractable arm mounted to the wall, and now our scene is lit and we're ready to roll. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tim from Envy Creative, and I wanna thank you for joining us for yet another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about lighting modifiers, and specifically, lighting modifiers in our white room here at the studio. Now, if you're familiar with our work at all, or if you've seen previous videos on the channel, you should know that we do a lot of product videos for customers, where we usually display their product on a table, much like this one, with a white backdrop behind them. And the way that we go about doing that is just a very simple setup that we can keep and maintain for every video for the most part, so everything looks pretty identical. Now when we moved to our new studio we wanted to get a different lighting setup than we had at our last studio in terms of utilizing the new space that we had in our white room area. Now I shoot a good portion of the white room videos here at the studio and I first started experimenting with this by putting a softbox a little bit closer to our actor on camera and just using it to kind of key their face a little bit and give us just a little bit extra lighting on the facial features ended up making a nice looking image. So we decided to make a more permanent solution and actually get some hardware that could stay in the white room and we could use it for every video. So in order to make a more semi-permanent solution, we picked up an extendable arm fixture from a company called Impact. And what this allows us to do is basically have a permanent lighting fixture attached to the wall that we can extend and bring closer or farther from our actor in order to achieve the desired effect. So we were also trying out a fixture from Impact, which is a lighting globe, which attaches to the Bowens mount on our light, which is attached to the extendable arm. So after trying that out for a couple of shoots and liking the results, we wanted to also try experimenting using the same Impact arm with a couple of other lighting fixtures to get that desired effect and really clean up the shot. So we're gonna try out three different lighting modifiers. The first is the aforementioned Impact lighting globe. The second is going to be a beauty dish from a company called Nice Photo. And the third one is going to be a softbox dish. Now all three of these modifiers are likely gonna give us a pretty good looking shot, but we wanna find the one that's best for our needs and again, make it a semi-permanent solution that we can easily just have up in our white room, bring out and rig up whenever we're ready to use it for a shoot. So the first test is going to be with the Impact Globe. And I personally really like this light because it's pretty well balanced all around. It's just a nice soft light that you can bring in over your actor's face and you're able to really get a nice key light on their face. This is the Rainbow Silverware set, 20 pieces for four. Now the second test is going to be with the Nice Photo Beauty Dish. Now we use a bigger version of one of these pretty much every day on set. Now we use these basically because they're portable, you can throw it on some wheels, have it move around set with you, and as long as you have power available, you're gonna have pretty solid lighting for any close-ups, mid shots, anytime you need a good key light on your actor. Again, it's just a matter of simple installation to swap out the globe for the Nice Photo Beauty Dish, and we'll go ahead and test that one out. This is the Rainbow Silverware set 20 pieces for four. As I mentioned earlier, we're getting pretty similar results already with the first two lights, and I think the reason for that is they're all pretty good solutions if you wanna have a nice soft key light on your actor. But as I said, we wanna find the best version for our studio and our means. So let's go ahead and try the last one, which is the softbox dish. This is the Rainbow Silverware set 20 pieces for four. In my personal opinion, the softbox dish was probably the weakest of the three, only because it didn't supply a ton of extra light that was noticeable on camera. Basically what I'm looking for for this sort of test is is what's going to give me a little bit extra in terms of lighting so that I can make this shot look really good, especially when I finish it off in post-production with color correction. So as you can see, all three lighting setups are actually pretty solid and depending on your individual needs, one of them may work better than the other for what you're trying to do. For our purposes, I personally like the Nice Photo Beauty Dish. I think that it gives the cleanest amount of light, and when I go to color correct these clips at the end, I'm looking just for a little extra lighting on the actor's face to bring out some of those facial features, so that way you're not losing any of that when you go to tweak the final colors in the final shot. I think that with a lot of white room videos, you sometimes run the risk of things looking stale or kind of sterile in the shot, but with a proper lighting setup and some know-how and color correction, I think you're able to get things to pop really well, including the wardrobe, the actor's skin tone, and most importantly, the client's product that you're showcasing. Now there are tons of lighting setups out there, a lot of which are more expensive or inexpensive than what we're showcasing here. However, we wanted to find something, like I mentioned, that's going to cater to our needs and that we can easily use on a weekly basis with minimal or no setup. I honestly think the coolest thing though about all this is the arm that we picked up in order to mount these lights. I just think that it's so easy to tuck into the corner of your standing set and then when you need it, you swing it out, extend it, get it where you need with your actor and you're good to roll. Basically, that has been our goal with most of our sets and our lighting options here at the studio. It's either portable or it's set up so that we can easily turn it on and get going with very minimal setup time. Now, all three of those tests actually may have looked pretty similar to you, and that's okay because what we're looking for is nuance. When you have 
different pieces of gear that essentially get the same job done, you've got to look for what sets them apart from each other. I think the nice photo beauty dish really did the job for me because I've seen the results before, like I said, with some of the bigger versions of it, but I really like the way it funnels the harsh light and then diffuses it onto the actor's face. And I think personally looking at the test, that's the one that sticks out the most to me. So we're likely going to keep that one up in the white room studio so we can use it on a weekly basis. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and please, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. We're also going to go ahead and put in the description links to the different products that we are using here at the studio that you've seen in this video, so you can check them out and see if they work for you. Thanks so much again, we'll catch you next time.